Today we're gonna to be talking about how you can seriously level up your videos by making your own branded templates on repurpose.io. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, before we get started in the nitty gritty, I wanna talk a little bit about why branding templates ma even matter because they can be kind of a secret weapon. So they make your videos look a little bit more professional and recognizable and they can give you that brand identity that's really kind of golden in this digital world. And so when you're wanting to start to make your own uh, branded templates, you first want to just obviously log into your repurpose.io account. If you don't have one already, you can definitely go ahead and sign up in the free trial down below. We'd love to have you give it a shot. You don't even have to put in your credit card. So we just want to get you in there and to see how awesome repurpose is uh, for all your different content needs. Once you log in, you simply just go to the templates tab on the left and that's where all the action takes place as far as all of your different templates. And so you can click on there and you can kind of see that I have made my own templates in the past in different formats. So they have um, the 16 by nine, which is like um, a YouTube video type. They have a nine by six, nine by 16, which is more like a short form, like TikTok, Instagram reel. And they also have the one by one, which is kind of like more like the LinkedIn and Facebook post type deal. So you can see it's kind of the square, the vertical and the horizontal. So these are the ones that I've made. And uh, but before we even talk about making your own, I do want to let you know that we do have predefined templates. So if you click on predefined templates here, you can see that there's true vertical where it has the headline on the top and then it has the captions on the bottom headline without um, a background and then more captions on the bottom. So true vertical is fairly good because it pretty much like fills the whole screen, which is awesome. There's fill vertical, it's very similar. Here's the square template, which I like the headline on the top. And then I also like that there's like a, a progression bar. And so like these do a lot better on like LinkedIn because LinkedIn, when you post on LinkedIn, it's actually does not prefer like a nine by 16, like a TikTok video size. They like to have the square templates better. And so you can also um, use the templates for speaker one and speaker two. And so th these are just already pre-done and pre-made for you. And so you can also use them for your YouTube videos if you want the captions there on the bottom. And uh, so, yeah, I think we've done a great job. Also, those that don't have your face on there, you want to make your podcast go from audio to video. We have those preset templates as well. So we've, we have a, quite a few there already done for you. And so for a lot of people, that actually might just be enough. Um, but I also did want to show you like that you can actually go ahead and create a new template yourself. So you can just go ahead and name it. We can do... Um, like let's do um, YouTube long form to square, let's do that. And then it's gonna be video to video because it's gonna be from a YouTube video to another video. And so you can choose the size, this one will be square. And again, like I said, there's 16 by nine, nine by 16 and one by one. You just do next. And then you can choose where to put the headline. It's kind of like Canva, if you ever used Canva before, it's very similar. You can put a sub headline so you can move this up you put a sub headline in there if you want to put that in there um, wherever you want to um, you can add captions on here if you want to you can put that there you can add a progress bar they already did which is nice you can take that off if you want to there's elements so there's shapes I, I do love the emojis that they have on here uh, because they are pretty eye-opening in my opinion so like let's say that if you're trying to get someone's attention you might do like like this you know something that's like scary crazy like hey the headline might be like um shark attacks that you've never seen before you know that's kind of a random one but it's like and then the emoji looks really cool with that right and then also they have icons that you can add so these are just all um you know for for your own creativity for your own brand and then what i like about it as well is you can upload i've uploaded these in the past like um different things that I wanted to put, products that I wanted to put there as well. So like if I click this, this is like one of my older products, you can see like I can put that anywhere and say, hey, on the bottom, just say um, link in bio to get this for yourself, right? So it can be a good way to do a call to action if you want to. They also do have gifts on there, which is nice. So you can put this um, within your template as well. So the sky's the limit really. It's just very similar to Canva where you can just customize it and um, when it does look like something that you are already wanting to do, 
Oh, by the way, I forgot to, you can change the text colors. You can change the outline colors. Um, you can change the font. So there's a lot of cool creative options. So let's say that I have it where I want to already. Let me just add a progress bar. You can change the color to your brand color, make it green, whatever we want to do. Um, and then we will click the exit button. And because all changes are already saved, which is nice. So while we're waiting for that, it'll come right here. And then you can see it right here, YouTube long form to square LinkedIn. So now the question is like, how can I use this template? So if you go to workflows, you're going to want to go to one of your workflows that you set up that could be relevant with this. And so for example, I actually don't have one, so I'll create one really fast. You do a YouTube a long form to we'll do that. Then we'll choose the source is obviously YouTube. Um, we'll make it uh, regular videos next. Uh, the action will be upload video, a uh, full video and do next. And then you choose a destination will be LinkedIn. And you can change the feed and do done. So now I can use that template and I'm not going to set it to automatic. I'm going to have it on manual so I can manually choose which videos um, I want to post on LinkedIn. So it's just creating that workflow right now. And then we'll be able to jump in and I can show you on the settings where to schedule them and how to get that going um, within your workflow. So now we can see that the workflow that I just created is right here. It's a YouTube long form to LinkedIn. And so what we can do is go to view content. But before we do that, we can actually go to settings and make sure. Um, so we want to do a style. We want to do square. So you can put a vertical video in there if you want to. This is just like a template. You can go to my templates and then I can choose this one. So now it will look exactly how I want it to. And again, you can always um, customize it. So I want to do exclude YouTube shorts, exclude unlisted videos, and then do save. So that's the template. But remember, you can always use the predefined templates that we talked about earlier or just any other templates that you might have created. Let me just do save. So now we'll go back to view content for the workflow that we just did. And now I can literally schedule any of my long form videos that I want to. So let's like this right here is an Amazon video. If I want to schedule this onto LinkedIn, I can click schedule. And then now I can see what it will look like. It's a preview of the video, right? And this is the template. So you, um, you can change the, the headline here. You can change the sub headline and you can upload a custom LinkedIn thumbnail. So that's what people will see. You can use the subtitles right here, burn from your YouTube video because YouTube's cool because it makes your own captions when you use it. And then once you're done, you can obviously publish it now or schedule it. So if you publish it now, obviously it will go to LinkedIn. It'll go in the queue. If you go to schedule, you can actually go in and schedule it a certain date for when to be posting it, which is awesome. So let's say that we wanted to post it like on the 29th. I can just click the date and then choose the time and schedule content, which is cool. So that's kind of how you do it. That's the whole process on how to use templates, all the different customizations that you can do. So re really cool. I feel like a lot of people don't take advantage of this enough. It's, and again, cool thing about all of this is the brand aspect, all the different branding. You can do all of your different colors. You can do all your different call to actions. You can really customize this and make it your very own. Hopefully you liked this quick tutorial for you about templates. If you did, go ahead and um, toss us a like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video.